Uh, we are a nonprofit organization that has uh, no paid employees. And so sponsorships, uh, volunteering, fundraising, and uh, grants are really uh, very vital to our uh, vitality. We want to serve the children, we want to serve the seniors through our six philanthropic programs. All that they do for the youth within El Dorado County, there's um, so many youth that ha deserve to have the opportunity. Did you know that there's nearly 5,000 kids in our county that live below the poverty line. And last year we clothed over a thousand children. These are kids many times who haven't ever had new clothes. Um, we've had kids come in with shoes that are held together with duct tape. We've had kids who've never had socks before. When you see that there are smiles on these children's faces, that you're making a difference in your community, and in this case, in El Dorado County. Well, you've come to an organization of women who are looking for camaraderie, who are looking for uh, opportunities to serve their community. You're going to help a child in need, you're going to help a senior have a good day and, and enjoy themselves. So if you have any desire at all to give back to your community, this is the perfect place to do it. This is Setup Day. And so this is a combination of just getting everything as far as decorations, all of the uh, things for the kitchen area set up. But we're upping our game. It's a gar one of the eight gardens. And it's a fundraiser for those kids. hundred percent of the proceeds from this fundraiser will go back to help the children and the seniors. So we couldn't do this without volunteers, and so it's very important. You see the end results help people all over in so many different ways. It's very gratifying. Really very proud of all the members and all the hard work and the hours that are spent. and we're gonna be having costumes on, and we're upping our game. Hello, I'm the Queen of Hearts in this wonderful, unique landscaped garden. You can buy tickets at El Dorado Hills Pottery World. Fifteen dollars for this tea. Dean. Jeff McNaught. Hello. Help us come find the Cheshire Cat in the try. Thank you so much. See you. So here today we are at the garden tour where of course we have people touring the gardens within El Dorado County. Um, we're so lucky to have those people who own their homes to open their homes up to show them their beautiful gardens. The tour has breathtaking gardens, each with special features. There's eight houses on the tour this year. Actually, it's a Alice in Wonderland theme. Mad Hatter Tea Party. Two daughters, Elise and Emma, today are um, volunteering, and Elise is actually Alice, and uh, Emma wanted to participate too, and so we said, well, why don't you become the Cheshire Cat? And we're gonna see the White Rabbit come, and we're gonna see the Queen of Hearts come, and the Mad Hatter is gonna be serving the tea. I'm the White Queen, and I am the rightful ruler of Underland. My name is Marana, so nice to meet you. The Queen is always giving out orders, and I just want to get back and finish my tea. Our first uh, patrons will be a busload of, of women that are coming from Lincoln, and I'm looking forward to seeing them again. They always come for both of our tours. Oh, it's been wonderful so far. We love it. We love having an afternoon tea with the Mad Hatter. The costumes are amazing. Mm -hmm. 
terrific time. This is wonderful. I'm bringing my granddaughter. Love the food, love the teacups, love it. <laughs> Come back, it's worth it. <laughs> We've never been part of the garden tour before, and when the Assistance League mentioned that they were holding the garden tour and wondered if we were interested in it, we, uh, we pretty much jumped right in because we've, we have done some things before with the Assistance League, and it's always been an amazing experience. I think you can understand that people can be a little bit hesitant when asked to volunteer, but the Assistance League is a unique group of people in the community, and what they do is high quality, very thoughtful, volunteers are revered and treated so well, and made part of the family. And so whenever they call us for anything, we're in. It's just a, it's a great experience. We've met new friends, we've had wonderful experiences with the members of the Assistance League, and so, gosh, why wouldn't we do it? Because without the fundraising, we wouldn't have money for our programs, which is just, just so important. It's why we're here. So. And so, the disadvantaged children need our support and need your support. And so I strongly encourage you to sponsor a child, even for $100. I want to thank all the volunteers. Without all of your help, this could never have happened. Volunteering is another way of giving back to our community, El Dorado County. Step up and volunteer, you'll, you will reap more rewards than you really realize you will. So it's really critical that we have our members participating, we have our community volunteers, and of course the patronage of the community. And it all goes toward helping those who are disadvantaged. It's a great opportunity, it'll make your heart feel good, and we have a meeting once a month and if you're interested, let us know, and we'd love to have you join us at one of our meetings.